Hello, darlings. You've all heard of Marilyn Monroe. Some of you know Bridget Fardo. Well, now it's time for the cognac show. Limousines <laughs> drinking the finest champagne. Wearing first dazzling diamond jewelry. A girl can't complain. A little bit of scale life. Dining in the finest restaurants. Eating the best caviar for free. And no matter how much I enjoy myself. Let's welcome back. We're here at the 17th Annual International Film Festival. And I'm here with this very important lady who's going to introduce herself to the cameras. Hi, I'm Brenda Seymour Schreider. I'm Roy Schreider's wife, and I have two films in the film festival. Tell my audience about these important films that you, are you producing these films, directing them? Produced and directed with my friend Emma Morris, yes. Tell my audience all about these important films. Well, they're important because they're about people who care about things, and this is, um, here's Roy in a 1964 movie. And Roy in the movie that he made, it's not out yet. And my point is that time is holding still when you have cancer. And you can only live your life and die as well, as with as much style as you can. Well, he was a phenomenal actor, your Thank husband. You. Your husband was an extraordinary actor. Wonderful actor. And right beside him is Annie Reinking. And Anne Reinking starred with him in all that jazz. And she's a choreographer. I remember that. Out. I remember yeah. that, darling. Yes. And her son has something called Marfan Syndrome. So I made a movie about Marfan Syndrome. And it's a connective tissue disorder. It makes people very long and skinny. And this movie is about kids who are helped by Annie giving them an image of themselves as dancers, which entirely blew their minds. And they're screening again on Monday night at 8 o'clock. So people can come and see, see the boat. I would love to see the film. So I wish you would. And there's a little invitation. Monday night, and the synopsis is on the back to further describe it for you. So you're... Your husband, Roy Schneider, he turned you on to this filming the movie and bringing your point across. Well, I was actually a filmmaker before I knew him. Were you really? Yeah, I was an actor, too. Well, you're beautiful enough, and I'm well, sure you're you. very talented. Thank you very much. You're very beautiful, too. Thank and I love so your much. eyelashes. Everybody loves I love the eyelashes. eyelashes. <laughs> <laughs> about the film where they should go on the internet they should go I would say to the National Marfan Foundation and they have a site and it's on the card I have but it's um, the National Marfan Foundation has a lot of information about the kids and what to do about this disease it killed um, Jonathan Larson he wrote rent he died of it because he was undiagnosed Wow. Yeah, so a lot of people have been sick with it and not known. A lot of athletes and things. And um, and a little short about Roy is really a tribute to he and his doctor. Do you and miss your anybody husband? who wants to know about multiple myeloma should probably contact me. I'm in the phone book. You must miss your husband terribly. Terribly. Especially now around the film things and parties and openings and yeah I miss him a lot he was my dear friend for 25 well, years yes, his spirit is here darling right thank here you. in this room thank I'm you. sure of it I feel thank it you. I feel it and thank we'll you. be back in a moment darling some more celebrity interviews you gonna give me a kiss goodbye thank you we'll be back in a moment darling some more celebrity interviews keep watching big champagne kisses <laughs> thank you I'll be canceled what? We are going to this dinner. It's gonna be weird. These are your fucking friends. I don't even know them. I'm hoping to uh, break into the entertainment industry. Well, there's nothing entertaining about it. Voulez-vous français? Voulez-vous coucher? Honey. It looks like you pissed your pants. And Abby's pregnant. I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. canceled it's about two couples that go to dinner and the third couple cancels at the last second 
That's their mutual friend. So it leaves those two couples to fend for themselves. It's very awkward and strange. It takes place in Brooklyn. It deals with relationship issues, job groveling, networking. You know, all about making the dream happen in New York. And we're actually writing, we finished a feature based on the short, which um, currently an agent of William Morris has, and he really likes it. And he's trying to get talent attached to get it made. This is the first time you've been here at the Hamptons Film Festival. Yes, it is. What do you think so about it so far? I like it. I'm having a great time, you know. I think this is awesome. I mean, we're at the beach. And it's beautiful, especially being away from Brooklyn, you know, and I mean, I just got here, so, but I'm really excited for this screening, I feel like the crowd's really great, you know, the vibe's awesome, it's good. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Yes. Tell my audience if they want to find out more information about the film, where should they go? They should go to dumbbunnyproductions.com. That's dumbbunnyproductions.com. Spell that, spell D-U-M-B-B-U-N-N-Y. P-R-O-D-U-C-T-I-O-N-S dot com. director, producer of documentary films. Introduce yourself to the camera. Hi, I'm Sophie Shahini. How many years have you been coming to the festival? I've been coming to the festival for three years now. This is my third year. Tell my audience about the, your films and why you come to the festival and why it's so important to participate and contribute. Well, I live in East Hampton year-round, so this is a really big event for us locals. We love to come and support the films that come from all over the country and all over the world. It's a great chance for us to see wonderful films in our own backyard. My audience wants to find out more about your films and what you're working on right now. Tell my audience what you're working on right now. Right now I'm working on a documentary film on Dan Graham who has a retrospective at the Whitney Museum. And um, I just finished a film on Yinka Shonabari. He had a retrospective at the Brooklyn Art Museum. And my next subject is Eric Fischel, um, who's an artist who works out of uh, North Haven. Excellent. Yeah. Wonderful. They want to find out more information about you and your documentary films. Where should they go on the internet? Uh, you can see my work on Vimeo.com. Excellent. Very nice. So, just plug in your name, right? Just plug in my name onto Vimeo. Spell your name fully. Uh, my last name is spelled C-H-A-H-I-N-I-A-N. -I -I my first name is Sophie. More celebrity interviews. Keep watching. Peace, champagne. Oh, oh, oh. I said, cognac. Oh, oh, oh. I said, cognac. Oh, oh, oh. I'm a fancy blonde, fancy dress to impress. One of a kind girl. This has been a Crybaby Productions, darlings.